This video shows how to take the bottom off of your ETX 125 telescope. There are three screws in the bottom. Sometimes these are covered by rubber plugs, other times they're not. This one happens to be not. And just remove these. They're usually Phillips head screws. I have seen some where they might be like an Allen wrench. Thing to be careful of is the battery compartment. So kind of hold this as it comes off because the battery wires are very short. The black one on this one broke off and I just taped it and le with electrical tape to the side here so it doesn't hurt anything. So I usually just kind of tuck that underneath the base just so that there's room for these wires to be okay. So the next part is, if you see this, this is the worm gear. This down here is the lever up top. If I move that, I loosen it and tighten it. You can see that that, getting close there, you can see that that nut or that uh, bolt is turning in there. So basically that turns and tightens the clutch parts together. So the round disc should, should stay in place and that bolt just turns and tightens a little bit and pulls everything together. If you do ever need to remove, uh, swap out some gears, you've got one screw up top here above the worm gear. There's two right in between here. So above the brass gear, there's two screws back there. You take one, two, three out, and that loosens up this whole worm gear assembly. Then you take out one over here, one down here, and one over here, and that releases the gear. So you could then lift out the gearbox. It has a circuit board attached to it and the worm gear. You take that out and you want to unplug the wire. This one here that goes over the circuit board. So you just unplug that and then you can pull out the whole thing, move a new one in, re-plug in that connector board, screw back in the three screws there, screw in the three screws there and you would have everything replaced. Now this is one that I happen to have had repaired because it had a broken um, part of the drive box broke. So I actually put a metal washer in there and epoxy that in and across here it also broke. So I epoxy that and on the other side you can't see it but there's a paper clip giving support there. Uh, this one I wanted to make sure it didn't move around so I actually took a piece of cork and I cut it down a little bit to size and I jammed it in the side there and that just gives extra support so that that motor box cannot twist and turn inside of there. So I try to do everything I can to make sure if I repair it, that it does not break again. Anyway, that is how you can open up the base of the ETX-125 and take a look at the motors and drives.